Let us take an example on replacement concept in allegation and mixture. In this situation, we have x gallons of wine in a particular container. We are supposed to remove 10 gallons of wine and replace it by water. This process is done twice. After two such processes, we are left with wine and water both in this container and the proportion of wine and water in this container now is 49 is to 32. Now let us see how do we find out the total quantity of wine in the container. We had already assumed this quantity to be x. Now say after the first process if initially the total quantity was x if I remove 10 gallons out of it and replace it by water the proportion of wine now in the container will be x minus 10 upon x. If I repeat this process second time I will get the same proportion. Say for example if I were to have 50 gallons in the container originally if I remove 10 gallons out of it and replace it by water the quantity of wine now left in the container will be 40 out of 50 which will be 4 fifth. If I repeat this process once again that means I remove 10 more gallons out of this mixture I will be left with 4 fifth of the wine so 4 fifth of 40 that will be nothing but 32 and rest of them will be water. So similarly if my total quantity were to be x and if I am removing 10 gallons my proportion left after first process will be x minus 10 upon x and after second process will it, it will be still x minus 10 upon x. Hence after two such processes I will be left with x minus 10 upon x the whole square. Now this is the proportion of wine left in the container. That is equal to the ratio given to us and that is 49 is to 32. So if I find the proportion of wine left the proportion will be 49 upon 81. Now if I try to equate the equation will look like this x minus 10 upon x the whole square is equal to 49 upon 81. Now if you observe closely both the sides of equation are perfect square. Now if I try to find out square root on both the side I will get x minus 10 upon x on left hand side and 7 by 9 on right hand side. If I process this further I will get 9x minus 90 is equal to 7x. Taking 7x on left hand side and 90 on right hand side I will get 2x is equal to 90 and x is equal to 45. So the original quantity of wine in container was 45 and you removed 10 gallons twice and replaced it with water. What if we have to mix more than two qu different quantities and find a mixture? Let us take an example where I have through three types of tea costing rupees 60 per kg, 75 per kg and 100 per kg and I need to mix them in such a way that if I sell the mixture at 96 rupees per kg it should yield me a profit of 20 percent. Now again you have to take care of the trick that here 96 rupees is the selling price and not cost price. So first of all we will have to find out the cost price of mixture that we are making. If 96 is the selling price and it has 20 percent profit so I can say that 1.2 times of cost price will be equal to 96 and hence cost price will be 96 divided by 1.2. So that will give me 80 rupees as my cost price of mixture. So now I am mixing three types of tea costing rupees 60, 75 and 100 in order to produce a mixture which will cost me rupees 80 per kg. It is very obvious that I cannot mix a tea costing rupees 60 and 75 and produce a tea which is costing me rupees 80. Hence I will have to mix a tea which is costing me rupees 60 and rupees 100 and produce a mixture which is costing me rupees 80. If I use allegation over here I will get the ratio of t 60 rupees per kg and 100 rupees per kg as 1 is to 1 and now if I look at the other combination 
the other combination will be tea worth rupees 75 per kg and worth rupees 100 per kg to be mixed in order to derive an average price of rupees 80 per kg. If I again use allegation, I will get the ratio of T which is costing 75 per kg and T which is costing 100 per kg as 4 is to 1. Now, my first mixture which costed me rupees 80, second mixture also costed me rupees 80. Now, here I do not need to use allegation because if there is one mixture costing rupees 80, when I mix it with another mixture which is also costing me 80, I will anyways get an average price of 80. So, I have to simply add these two mixtures and these two mixtures can be added in any ratio. Let us simply add the two ratios that we have already calculated. First ratio 1 is to 1 for T costing rupees 60 and rupees 100 that is 1 is to 1 and another ratio for T costing 75 and rupees 100 that is 4 is to 1. If I simply add this, I will get a ratio of 1 is to 4 is to 2 T costing 60, 75 and 100 respectively. This is one of the possible answer. This particular question can have infinite number of combinations possible. Here, as I mentioned earlier that you can add these two mixtures in any ratio. Here we added 1 is to 1 and 4 is to 1. If I take 2 is to 2 instead of 1 is to 1 and keep 4 is to 1, I will get ratio 2 is to 4 is to 3 and so on. Hence, the number of solutions will be infinite. Both these concepts that we discuss right now are very likely to be asked in most of the competitive entrance exams. Hence, it is very interesting concept and everybody must solve it. Thank you.